Alrighty guys, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play the full version of the crew. In this episode, we have the many countrymen being uh, put into perfect spec, which is very nice. Very cool. Again, it looks like a normal car, except for the front rally lights. But of course, I'm gonna uh, do some modifications to it, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And high performance. Of course, it's got a different engine sound as well. It's a similar engine sound to the dirt spec one. It's a just a slightly, slightly, slight bit. No, actually, it has no change to it whatsoever. It's the same engine from the dirt spec one, but it's a lot different from the Mini Cooper. Basically, it's a changed engine sound because it's supposed to sound like it's got a rally engine swap in it, which is very cool. In fact, I don't know if that's actually a realistic engine sound. I actually have to look that up. If I, I will look it up and I'll tell you if that's a realistic engine sound. Hold on, one second. Okay, I just looked up on YouTube some clips of the real live version driving around. Besides the anti lag system, it actually does sound a lot very, very similar to that of the real rally car. This engine sound that they have on the dirt spec, per spec, and raid spec. But the only issue that I have with it that I noticed, the big issue that I had noticed with it, is it it's not as doesn't rev as high as the the real version. But that's only a minor detail. It sounds cool. That's the only important part for me. It sounds cool and it sounds appropriate to a rally car. Of course, we're gonna put those rims on it because I don't know. They just look cool. They look they really suit this car. And it basically says race car. Well, performance car. That is, and of course, not gonna put that hood on there because this hood's even better. So yeah, there we go. It sounds close enough to the real live uh, rally version of the Countryman. But yeah, I don't mind. It sounds close enough. Let me actually take a quick listen right now. Yeah, it does sound like that. It's except it revs higher and it revs faster on the real live version. But oh well, it's close. It it sounds it sounds it sounds the part. That's the only important part for me. It sounds appropriate, and that's good. I like that. And there we go. Just doing some performance modifications to this bad boy. Doing some. Actually, stopped there for a moment to see. To see if I didn't, uh, if I have not messed up my setup yet, because I thought I already put acceleration bonus on tires. And on the thing. Oh, by the way, there's actually a little bit of a different setup with this car. I noticed that this car actually has so much grip, and when you drive it in a uh, uh, hardcore mode, it'll actually have a tendency to flip a lot. It basically handles like a clown car, which you guys will see when I uh, do the uh, do a mission. But with this car, basically you just forget about the grip on parts, and that will reduce the amount of uh, reduce uh, how much it f tries to flip over on you. It will, it'll do two wheels, but it will, won't be as intense as uh, before with the grip bonus parts. Now, this is actually the setup with the grip, the two grip bonus parts. But later on, I will actually do a little reference video, uh, just testing the differences between the two setups to see if it actually does make a, a terribly big difference. But I believe it does make a pretty big difference. Later on, like I said, I will do a video t checking the, to see if there's any difference between the two. And the thing that I noticed with this car is it's super, super light. That doesn't actually, the reason why I'm kind of driving kind of weird, the reason why I was driving kind of weird here is because I was playing Most Wanted 2012 yesterday, quite a bit, just starting from the beginning, basically, and playing that, and I was too used to the handling, it's, the handling there is kind of heavy, the steering feels kind of heavy, of course we're going to do the bike color paint, the green or the red on this thing, make it Christmas colored, because that looks, it, this actually kind of suits, this color actually kind of suits it, and we're going to put the Cooper S, style stickers on the front, there we go. And it's complete. It really looks like a Mini Cooper S with uh, this style. It looks like my Mini Cooper S, but the color is a little lighter. The green's a little lighter than my... Um... Listen to that. It sounds so cool. I still can't get over that. It sounds so cool. Sorry. It just sounds so cool. I actually forgot to do the interior, but whatever. Doesn't matter. So yeah, here we are on Observatory Dash. I actually see how this thing handles. This thing actually handles a little weird and hardcore, but as soon as you put it in the sports steering, it's actually somewhat neutral, but it'll oversteer a lot. Which is not a bad thing, but it's not a good thing either. But in hardcore steering, you'll actually be prone to rolling over quite a bit with this thing. Man, it's so cool! 
Look at that launch. It's just insane. It's all-wheel drive. There's a good chance it is all-wheel drive. It just sounds so cool. I still can't get over it. I'm not over it. And I won't be over it. It was a good while. For the first two corners, it does kind of well. But then you start to notice that it's starting to teeter-totter a little. It's starting to try and go on two wheels. That's because it's grippy and because the suspension is actually really, really stiff on this thing. For some reason, I noticed, that I noticed this. The chassis is stiff and is, so is the suspension. That's what I'm feeling. It just feels really, really stiff and it feels like the suspension is just basically welded together. And as you can see, I'm drifting and now I'm doing two wheels. In fact, I was, there was actually one section and I was just testing out this car in hardcore steering. I actually hit a wall and then I hit a traffic car and I went on two wheels. I almost went completely on my side because of that. But in a sense, this car is just for fun. Driving this thing in hardcore steering is just for fun. And it goes to show how um, much of uh, how much you have to give this car attention in order to prevent you from flipping over. Because as you can see, it's it just wants to kind of flip over on this thing. This is the car that I noticed that it really wants to do it on. I just hope they kind of, I hope they fix this up, but it's not necessary because I can just drive this thing in sports steering and it'll be it'll be better. But in a sense, it should be kind of fixed because this chassis is way too stiff. And the suspension is also way too stiff. That's what I think it is. And as you can see, that's kind of the only way I can tell that... The only reason why I can think it's just wanting to flip over is because it's so stiff. Also, it understeers. If you put all acceleration bonus parts on this thing, then it will start to understeer quite a bit. But it's manageable. It's more manageable than uh, having to flip over. And of course, it kind of requires you to brake a lot more. Which is a good thing because... The faster you go through a corner, the more chances you will have to flip over. I noticed that. In this section right here, I actually ran into a traffic car. Not in this session right here. I was testing it out, and I ran into a traffic car. Not here. Damn sign. But yeah, as you can see, the cornering is immense. It's a little go-kart, this thing. Well, actually, a big go-kart, let's just say. The Mini Cooper S is actually the little go-kart. But here, I actually went through this corner. I hit a traffic car at a high speed not in this session like I said and but and that basically made me go on two wheels and comple almost completely flip over and that kind of surprised me but I managed to hold it together put it back on four wheels and keep it going so yeah this thing is just kind of this thing is pretty insane let's just say that no words can describe how insane this thing is and now we're just breaking and as you can see it understeers quite a bit but that's hardcore steering for you Sports steering doesn't understeer like I said, but it'll oversteer like crazy. Don't know why. Well, then again, actually, I do know why, because the engine's at the front and there's practically no weight on the back. So it's gonna oversteer like crazy. In this case. And as you can see, it really has some kind of issues with understeer and the, uh, the stiff chassis. I noticed that. I've also noticed that in Need for Speed World, with the stiff chassis on the uh, Pagani Zonda F, before they tuned it out, it actually had a bunch of problems with turning radius. I would basically understeer and it was practically undrivable because it was just so stiff. And then they loosened it up and it actually got a little bit better. The stiffness was still there for the Pagani's on Air and Need for Speed World, but they fixed it, mostly. With this thing, I think they need to get rid of some of the stiff stiffness of this car. It's just insane. Look at the amount of body roll it has through the corner. This thing's got more body roll than the rate spec version. It's pretty bad. Yeah, other than that, it's really nice. The dirt spec one is actually neutral. It doesn't want to flip over on you, especially in sports steering. I noticed that in sports steering when I used my uh, Touareg, my dirt spec Touareg, it, uh, it basically flipped over. Went around a corner, went drifting, and it completely flipped over. In a PvP lobby, and I was like, Dunk! and I was so pissed off that it just flipped over, and I was like, dang, now it actually lost the race because of that. So I'm, I don't use Touareg for that reason anymore. So yeah, love this car as love this, love this car as well. But they kind of need to fix the stiff the the stiff the issue with it being pretty stiff. But in a sense, this is just a car for fun. Kind of makes it seem like a clown car in a sense. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give the video a like and stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true